Hi everyone, my name is Bruce Schwartz. I'm from Montreal in the province of Quebec in some country called Canada. And it's sometimes very cold, sometimes very hot. At the moment, it's getting very cold up here or down here. And <laughs> I have to thank all of you for taking the time to connect with me. Um, this is an amazing channel. We're finding a lot of amazing things on the surface of the moon. I found out that there is some activity up there so there's either a break breakaway civilization or some actual alien species you know that we don't have the proof but we we do know someone is up there i have the proof i've gotten it on the channel here on videos and it's just amazing i'm seeing ufos on the surface um, i've been focusing a lot on uh, atmosphere like john Lear told us there's an atmosphere up there on the moon and they're really really is we'll see pockets of clouds over industrial like areas on the surface a lot of close-ups and a very special well, we'll be looking at the wall too by the way if you're all familiar with the wall apparently 800 to 1000 feet high now when you're looking at this it's a speck it's a line on the surface about half a mile to a mile um wide i believe and did I get the space station or because it was going overhead of me and I was very zoomed in with my telescope to the moon and all of a sudden I see something that looked, I'm going to say space station because it looks like the space station. Maybe it's not, but if it isn't, it's something that has three apparent objects appearing, two rectangular panels on each side and some kind of lower, um, smaller object in the center. I have not really seen what the space station looks like. doesn't matter. I'm just going to show it, okay? I'm just going to show you what I get because I always show you there it is up on the top. And uh, if you need an arrow on it or something, there's a problem because it's right there. It's pretty uh, large. We're over Mare Crisium going to... It's heading right towards Proclus Crater. Uh, could it be the space station that I saw and um, the moon going between Earth and the moon g gave me the chance of seeing it because it's very dark right you know uh, wow i don't understand how i'd see that at night but then again maybe this would have been a, a flash of light but i didn't see it with the naked eye either um i was filming and i saw it afterwards in the footage we'll see one last close-up of it here and after that we're going to go look at a comparison of a crater before and after close up and far, uh, far away i want you guys to see the color on the surface where the wall is on the surface of the moon there is a very red surface we've seen greens we've seen blues yellows um purples but have you guys seen a red surface that's right a red surface we're gonna go take a look at that that was pretty cool right um no matter what it is many objects i've been finding tether like objects just like a pole or post or telephone post floating around the surface they are white and man are they smaller than small so it's really uh, about getting in and these objects are down there and they can be seen and at one point it's going to be a reality we will be able to see if anyone's roaming around down there walking around but it's just not right now uh, getting to the ground level is what we're looking at anyways but actually being on the ground level seeing a person walking on the surface we're looking through atmosphere that could be near impossible do you think on the moon somebody could see me in huntington here right now absolutely impossible okay because i'll tell you right now today it's gray and there's a very um huge large amount of clouds over my house right now so add sunlight over top of that add atmospheric disturbance it's very hard to get to the surface so when we see these clearings and i do get in close we should really appreciate them because it's not always easy to find the right photo or to get the clear night to be able to see all these little little details the high definition in this telescope the cgxl 1400 high definition celestron telescope that i have amazing optics and we could see that those little little details hey listen i had a four to five inch before and i was not able to see the little details here at the wall uh you'll see like for example on the right all the little stunning details that we can see we're going to go see 
color on the surface, colorful objects on the surface. Like I told you, the comparison of those two creators. I'll get some music up and shut up. And thanks for stopping by, everyone. There's a lot more coming. I'll get another video up right after this of some more amazing close-ups. Let's get in real close. Here's the creator we're going to go see close up and to see all the colorful structures on its surface.
I'll be answering comments tomorrow right after the first upload all afternoon. Tonight, I'm going to get another video up. This one's going to be up and maybe I'll get a third one up. I feel like getting in close today. Thanks for the support, everyone.